Are we working? But I think we are, and I'm quite creeped out by Bear and his that's of inappropriate language over at the announcer table. Well, that's his standard demeanor, I think, yes. personally. So I think we've got Skate Pliskin up to jam for University Challenge. And not sorry, Laurie, taking the lead for Charity Shop Chic. She is being chased down by Skate Pliskin. The pack really speeding up now. I've got to say, both of these teams are wearing delightful colors. <laughs> I feel like the colors really work well. No bias there at all. No. No. And there's no bias with that score. That is two points <laughs> each. Everybody wins points. Eventually. Everybody Derby. Everybody Derby. Something, something dark side. <laughs> Apparently, I've been told 316 was skating out of bounds. That is by Coco. <laughs> Coco would like her skating out of bounds. <laughs> it's okay. She's only joking. All right, so Dr. Roblocknik is up to jam. <laughs> but that is Beta Parker out as Lee Gemma. With a beautiful side serve round as he makes his way around to score some points, just trying to be fancy. But that hit was certainly fancy to Beta Parker. I think that is Tomahawk. Yeah, that, you can't, can't miss those leggings. That's definitely Tomahawk. I was more looking at the beard. That is a marvelous beard. Tomahawk I'm, I'm, is rocking. I'm too used to beards. I'm desensitized to beards, but leggings, that's where it's at. There are certainly some cheers in the crowd. Yay! Yay, sport! I was anticlimactic, I'm sorry. <laughs> we have Tormado up to jam for University Challenge. We've got a mystery jammer for Charity Shop Chic, seeing as she's not on my sheet, so we'll find out. Tomahawk taking, takes lead. Uh, tornado. Not Tomahawk, Tornado. It's fine, nobody's listening to us, it's okay. <laughs> Nobody cares. Stabatha, Stabatha, that's, that's a fantastic jamming. name. Tornado, uh, yeah. Yeah, Tomahawk, and that's a four point pass, I believe. Tormado up again at the front of the pack, getting ready to score more points. Meanwhile, Charity Shop Chic has taken the star off. We don't know where it's going to go just yet, but that is a recycle back by Skate Pliskin. Pliskin and Block Beauty doing a nice little... Oh, a big hit there. down there from Block Beauty. Tormado being brought to the back of the pack there. Skate Pliskin landing on his own butt. Doing a hit there, but you know. I mean, I think he tried to slow down Gemma, but she just like took him out, just like no. She takes him down. <laughs> Downtown. Tomato coming around for another scoring pass, doing some fantastic work. She made that look so casual then, just like going for a bit of a stroll in the park. I mean, there's skaters here, but I'll just scoot on past. A little bit of stroller derby mm. for your uh, Louise Ryder Cup pleasure. Also, if you are on social media, LR Cup 17, if you hashtag. have a little hashtag there, uh, you can share your joy of photos and, and talkings with the world. Let's take a quick look at the score. Charity Shop Chic is on five, but with a 22-point jam there, brings University Challenge to 26 points. So on the jam line for Charity Shop Chic is Tomahawk. And that is Beta Parker up for University Challenged. Both jammers quick off the line. Tomahawk really barreling his way through. Keeps going down, but he's straight back up. Tomahawk takes lead. Tomahawk is certainly looking chic on track. Mm. Oh, yeah, we're going with many puns today. I'm so up for a pun. It's unreal. 
Big takedown there at the front, but doesn't take Tomahawk off track, so he's straight back up. He's got some really quick footwork there, making it hard work for the blockers to hold him back. I'm getting dizzy, and I've only had two runs today. And a uh, star pass to block beauty. And a very fast pack. Obviously, the fast pack not being much of a problem for Tomahawk, like, who has shown his speed already. And that eight-point jam has brought Charity Shop Chic up to 13, but still in the lead with double that score is University Challenged. If you were challenged at university, you know, and, uh, and you don't have the smarts, I'll tell you what's smart, going and buying a raffle ticket. There yeah, you go. Segway, Segway. <laughs> so that's Dr. Oblocknik taking lead. Uh, up against him is Skate Pliskin, who's being recycled back by Charity Shop Chic. Both jammers from Super Smash Bowlers, so should know how each other jam. Dr. Oblocknik picking up the five points on the inside line. Skate Pliskin not far behind him. That was a very clean inside line sweep for uh, for Charity Shop Sheik's jammer there. Yes, that's it. Cheer my name, people. Cheer my name. Feed the ego. That's yeah. why we're here. I'm hungry. <laughs> Keep feeding the ego. So not sorry, Laurie, on the jam line up against Tormado. Not sorry, Laurie, trying to follow Tormado's line through the wall, but she manages to hit out Tormado. So how far is this recycle going to go? Let's see. A little da, far. Da, 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 da. Action <laughs> on the go. Rewinding. We're going to rewind that jam a little bit. A beautiful assist there to clear a line for Tormado. Sees her going forward and taking lead. And a sprint round the inside line. Sees Not Sorry Laurie through with the star back on her head. Tomato up on a scoring pass. A lovely assist again by number 15. That is Tron. Beta Parker up to jam for University Challenged. For Charity Shop Chic, it's Tomahawk. I can't figure out, is he wearing stripy socks or has he got tape on his feet, Tomahawk? I'm very confused. We'll, fi we'll get a uh, live, uh, live mm -hmm. interview at the end of this game to find out exactly what Tomahawk is wearing. Either but way, it's helping him out because he has just got lead. I believe they're socks. He is wearing a very big smile, being Lee Jam. <laughs> Tom Holt trying to take the inside line. That's a big takedown there from Block Beauty. But oh. a bit of a cuddle. There's no hard feelings there. Blocky, she's so, she's so sweet. She's so nice. I mean, that's the thing, you look at her and you go, oh, she's so small and innocent and she must be really lovely. No, she'll take you down. Also, never try and get into a gin drinking competition with her. You will not win. Uh -oh. You oh, okay. will not win. I, I feel like that's a challenge for the after party. <laughs> Does anyone know where the after party is? Is it Spanky's? Upstairs. Upstairs, Upstairs. at Spanky Van Dyke's? Yeah. You know who's upstairs right now? Skate Bliskin. He is up and he is lead. <laughs> Seamless segue there. It's either that or we get a montage going. I like saying both segue and montage, so. I am so up for a montage. It's unreal. We're going to need a montage. Montage. And with that jam, see, it's 21 points to Charity Shop Chic. 
up against 34 for University Challenged. We've still got 10 minutes on the board, though. I mean, these if you aren't aware, these are 20-minute games. Uh, if you accumulate four penalties, mm. you will foul out. Uh, and I think in the final half an hour long game, um, there will be five penalties per person. Well, it's a good thing I'm not skating. I'll be gone in like one jam. Yeah, but you know, it's all about fun. Tornado takes the lead for the University Challenged. That's Tron on his way to the penalty box. Still jamming for Charity Shop. Sheik is not sorry, Laurie. She's not got a star in her head, but she is still the active jammer. And getting hit out there by Block Beauty. Big sweep out there from Gemma, but Tormedo manages to get around on the outside line, calling off the jam. And our lovely jam referee is signaling that there was five points there on the board for University Challenge. But this is still quite a close game. And uh, don't forget, you know, we have, we have plenty of amazing games coming up. I, I thought they were average, but uh, am I wrong? Well, I mean, some are amazing, some are average. You know what is an average, though? What? Uh, the cakes over at the cake store. Oh, my Those God. Those are amazing. Oh, my God. Peter Parker is round as lead jammer for University Challenged. I like he has like a happy little stroll as he leaves. Like he's like, I don't know, like a Mario character or something. Um, that is four points on the board. Basically, whenever I have a microphone in my hand, I'm going to be talking some form of gibberish or making some weird noises. That's my favorite language. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Having a little bit of track repair there. And uh, a little bit of jammer on jammer action mm. before that jam starts. <laughs> Remember, it is a family show. Skate Pliskin takes lead. He's up against Dodger Bloknik, who follows him around that outside line. So both jammers are out. The pack speeding up to try and keep them away. Dr. Roblotnik with the evil eye there, ready to chase down, chase down Skate Pliskin. I love the pure determination face. Pliskin's got four points on the board. We're going to take a little look over here. So Chow Chubshik are on 21. University Challenge with a four-point jam there are on 47. Just over seven minutes left. And we have Danny Mack jamming for the first time for Charity Shop Chic. And Beta Parker up to jam again for University Challenge. I think there was a bit of confusion seeing as University Challenge has quite a full penalty box as to uh, who's meant to be on track, but they fixed it. Nobody likes a full box, but you know what we do, like Lee Jammer. Oh, that's um, Danny Mack getting Lee making her way round. Ooh, some big hits there from University Challenge to break apart that wall, but Trey Shop Sheet keeping that wall strong, very quick on the reform. Peter Parker just sneaking past Tomahawk. Big hit on the inside line, sees Nail off to the penalty box. Danny Mac hitting and quitting it there, picking up four points on that pass. Also, just to let you know, um, the announcers are actually picking MVPs uh, this year. It so makes us feel important. It makes us feel important. We have the power. <laughs> uh, if you would like to bribe us, you are welcome to purchase cakes, raffle tickets, you know, w drinks, whatever you want. We're, we're, we're meth. If you want to buy us a bit of meth right now, we, uh, we'd be quite pleased. And uh, it might get you an MVP vote. I mean, this is buy cake and bring us cake. No, just buy cake and rub it in our face because yeah. I, I won't be cool with that. You know who's rubbing it in somebody's face right now? Dr. Roblotnik <laughs> is rubbing his lead jammer status in Pliskin's face. Rub 
Dr. Roblox net bouncing off the back of that university challenge wall. Where's Calls my high jump. five, Pliskin? Where's our high five? Oh, so rude. Skaters just so rude. I mean, so involved in a roller derby, they don't remember the little people. We've got Tormado up to jam for University Challenged. Up against her is Tomahawk, who kind of towers over her on the jam line. But both very, very speedy jammers. Was it David and Goliath that had the height thing going on? Something like that. I can't, I can't remember. I wasn't that educated. <laughs> but Tomahawk is educating us on how to get lead jammer. Tormado bouncing off of the charity shop chic wall, managing to get through. And with a jump round and a big smile, Tomahawk calls off the jam. Oh my goodness, there's a zebra in the crowd. Shouldn't the zebra be on the middle of the track there, schooling us? Well, there, there's an extra one. I, I think I just saw a dab. <laughs> Beast Parker up against Danny Mac, and we've got a full contingency of blockers on both sides right now, which That's is a nice. rarity. That's quite nice, though. Makes a nice right. change. I'm happy with that. Oh, a fantastic hit there, 5-0-5-0. That is Snail. Hmm. Snail delivering a fantastic hit there. Danny Mac and Beta Parker both neck on neck. Danny Mac gets hit out as Beta Parker takes lead. Block Beauty at the back of the pack. I manage to hold back Danny Mac, but she just sneaks around the inside line. Sneaky jammer is sneaky. Sneaky sneaker. And that is a successful star pass over to Melancholy. Peter Parker picking up a final few points there and calling that jam off. I have some very beautiful looking officials today. I've only just realized that this zebra is wearing a tie. That's super fancy, I like it. That's very official of you, wearing That's like, a tie. Did they get extra official points for wearing ties? Well, like, you know, I mean, we have got officially awesome NSOs. So yeah. we've got to make sure that we have officially awesome referees as well. Absolutely. So Dr. Robloknik and that jammer is Skate Pliskin for University Challenge, who's up in front and jumping past him is Dr. Robloknik. He is a neck on neck with Skate Pliskin. Jammer Bit of a jammer on jammer. Jammer on jammer action is happening right now. They're battling it out. There was hugging earlier and now yes. there is shoving. Dr. Robotnik picking up two points there, 2-0 for Mr. Pliskin. Tormado up against Not Sorry Laurie. Do you I know feel like there's no one or two supporters for Not Sorry Laurie, maybe, yeah? You should also not be sorry about going and buying a raffle ticket. Oh, yeah. And not sorry, Laurie takes lead. Obviously, that bit of encouragement worked out. It's always nice to have people shouting your name from the crowd. It's, it's okay. encouraging. And at the end of the day, this is a fun game. And this is going to be a fun day. A little tape incident there, stopping yeah. Tormado from getting through. Yeah, I think she got a bit of tape stuck in her wheel, so she kind of had to go out and get it off. But she sorted it, she fixed it, and now she's out. So all is well. And also, Tormado is on a power jam. So Tormado up in front, one block at the face. And that's five in the sky. Pack is at a standstill at the moment. One, five, six hitting tomato out to the outside. Pick up a penalty as well. 
Meanwhile, Not Sorry Laurie back on track, managing to speed around that outside line to pick up five points. And I do believe there is no lead right now, so this will go for the full two minutes, or the full 35 seconds or whatever that's left on the clock. An amount of time it An will run to. Some time has passed. And that is the amount of time done. And the scores on the doors at the end of this. Charity Shop Chic with 40 points, but University Challenge are taking that away with 64. And can we have Team Gold and SO crew to come to this little boofy bit here, please?